Hello my people, welcome back to Critics News with more update on as you take the go in case you have not followed us on the social media handles we are on Instagram, Twitter and on Facebook I'm bringing you update in and out Okay, I'm moving forward um, Information reaching out says that uh, the group states, restates stance on January 23rd date for Kano and others release Okay, um, which group are we talking about? We are talking about the Biafra Nations League, which um, we have a leader called uh, um, Mr. Prince Wei Richard, who we have been hosting on this very channel for some time now, every weekend, to brief us and also to let us know how they are preparing for their move. Now, something happened um, about the donation or the <laughs> token that uh, some people have uh, brought for this very ultimatum given to the Nigerian government. You know, uh, they've been using PayPal to seek your support. And something happened. They said that uh, PayPal blocked <laughs> the account. So I'm thinking, I'm think, I think I'm, the Nigerian government or it's not working in Nigeria or I don't really know. I don't really know what is going on. So uh, the token that was uh, contributed for them is now hung. So it don't hang, and it's a very big issue somehow. But that one, no mean. Um, we move. According to them, they say that they are not going back on that January 23rd ultimatum given. So for anybody who wants to make any donation, um, you cannot use that PayPal for now. Um, no means of donation has been uh, provided or has been you know available for now so <laughs> we are still looking at the situation if there is any update for people who wants to help but i i see that people doesn't want to help people feel that um it's just one group that we bring biafra that is uh, how our people are reasoning very very bad and very low indeed but um whether you contribute like i've been saying or you know contribute the ultimatum still stands okay so biafra is not a one man's business that is but our people have thought that uh, if it is not ipub <laughs> nothing else can happen anywhere else which is a very stupid and foolish thought i must tell you let's go straight and find out um here okorocha has been you know batting on uh, what do you call it on hope also which is the present and current governor of uh, imo state now in, even though he never did anything but he's complaining about the present governor they are all the same people birds of the same feathers okay let's go straight they say group restates stance on january 23rd date for kano and others release now um a group a group, the Biafra Nations League, which is BNL, has insisted on the January 23, 2022 ultimatum issued to the federal government to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, which is Mazen Nam De Kano, and leader of Biafra Zionist Federation, BZF, which is uh, Mr. Benjamin Onwoka, and all supporters of Biafra kidnapped during this present and past uh, raid by the Nigerian army and uh, all its security agencies. This was contained in a communique issued at the end of the National Executive Council meeting in Bakasi Peninsula on January 12, 2022 and made available to newsmen in Calabar Cross River State yesterday being the 12th of January 2022. 22. The statement which was signed by the national leader Prince Uwe Chimezian Richard, Deputy Leader Ebuta Akotakon, and General Admin Officer Gostheim Ntukidem decried President Muhammad Buares uh, for disrespecting Igbo elders who visited him to request Kano's release, saying, There will be more insecurity as a result of his stubbornness. BNL, which has become a big challenge in the Gulf of Guinea, particularly in Bakasi Peninsula, said the group would not disclose its plans to sanction the Nigerian government. I say that's a good one. 
So you people must have been, for those of you who have been following this channel, um, it's quite a pity that uh, some of us are not being able to digest or digress or reason below their current status to know what we have been talking about. You know, when they want to ask you, they say, oh, are we are, are you on our are you on this side <laughs> are you on this side you don't want to tell us where you are you don't want to start uh, criticizing these people you don't want to start uh, exposing these people you don't want to start blasting these people you don't want to start uh, gossiping these people my people are big i know they for that one there are people whose uh, duty is to do that and our own duty is not to do that we started as a blog, just normal bringing you information on daily happenings. But you, you see, because I have so much interest in the struggle or freedom of our people, freedom for my own nation, where I can go back to and live like a human being. You know, you people now want to turn me to something else. Be cool. We are still watching the situation of what is happening. I don't want to enter into any illusion. Be cool. So, Moon, I just leave her. Everybody's claiming right when you look at this person they will say ah the other person is doing like this so when you look at that person you say the other person is doing like this sometimes you kind of get entangled and you have to keep on evaluating so whatever is happening we are seeing and we are still looking at the situation until it goes down until things are balanced but i believe that by the grace of elohim Things will get better. This um, confusion in the family is not good. In the family of IPOB is very, very bad. But we are hoping and praying that by the grace of God, everything will be resolved. Because the kind of things you hear from this side, you know, sometimes it discourages you. You know, it, it, it gives you discouragement from that, <laughs> from that party. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. What you hear from this side, it gives you, ah, ah, within the apple. Muna, calm down. Eh? Muna, calm down. The way we are accusing ourselves now. In case, in fact, everybody now self now suspect. Muna, calm down. I beg. Eh, eh, mu, because we cannot be fighting ourselves and get this Biafra. If there is unity, ah, go reach where they go now. The people who sabotage this struggle, eh? now wow, we no go better for them. Oh. People waste sabotage this uh, Mazinam they can you know go better for now. Although there is a reason for everything in life, God knows the best. But uh, I believe that it will all end in praise, like uh, <laughs> Barry Stephanie Jofo has always said that it will end in praise. That is our prayer. Okay, so Muna no go include me. Those people who doesn't want to watch, keep on going another side to watch. But there is an ultimatum, whether or not contribute to or not. Mm -hmm. So you can see now that all the little token that uh, they donated has been seized by paper. <laughs> they say they have blocked their account. Uh, they're not opening until further notice. Okay, so we move. Now, um, let's continue with the Biafra Nations League. They said that um, the group had three weeks ago issued a statement in which it gave the federal government up to January 23rd, which is 23, 2022, to free all Biafran detainees, especially Nam De Kano and um, Onwoka. The group said most of the detained Biafran leaders like Onwoka have been in detention without trial and is preparing its ground and all volunteers of our defense wing. We apply force in executing any activity that will affect the economy of the Nigerian state, especially in Cameroon borders on the sea. This is the statement coming from the Biafra Nations League. So like I told you people, many people doesn't want to support because they are still seeing us as uh, saboteurs <laughs> or people or beggars who wants uh, their money to go and buy ice cream and uh, to buy shirt or polo or to go and eat. That is how people are still looking at us. They are still looking at us like this. She will say this people, no be, no be hunger, they worry them. She will say no be... <laughs> But when 23rd reach, by the grace of God, when I go still hear uh, the scores. Okay, let me play you this video very quickly um, on Hope, Ozo, um, no, 
Rocha Sokura Baja. Since hope came into government, it has been killing on killing, destruction upon destruction everywhere. He has penetrated, separated Imo people from the government of, of, of Buhari. He has messed up the entire place. He went into his crisis, he went to Anambra crisis. Everywhere this young man dies, killing everything. Why should it be so? Because of one man, because of bad governance, because of cluelessness, because of evil acts. And we're keeping quiet. Look at his story yesterday. Look at what the whole, a whole governorship speech yesterday that took almost two hours. Tell me one substance in it. The only thing that I hear again is lies. That he built Akachi. Akachi that I built. He deceived the Senate President Command Commission and already built project by me. He, he brought President Mohamed Buhari to commission a, a 1.5 kilometer road that I had already prepared. He only resurfaced it and put less than half a kilometer of uh, balloon, what's it called, balloon technology concrete. I just want, I want me to listen. The one that paid me so much that he brought my president, Buhari, whom I suffered for this party together, brought him to government house to commission an ESCO chamber I built shamelessly. Now he said he did roundabout. Roundabout is, oh my God. Roundabout, he removed roundabout. Not that he remodeled. There was nothing remodeled about roundabout. He just put it and put street light. That's how people you want to talk about. Now, he said he brought Jules Berger here to sign MOU, and Jules Berger now showed that they are busy. What kind of cheap lies, cheap, cheap lies? How can you say he brought Jules Berger and they sign MOU, and they are too busy? That's why he didn't engage them. You know, he promised that Jules Berger would do all the working. If you want to see Jules Berger working, go to Rivers. You see where Jules Berger is working. There's no Jules Berger here. So, small, small lies that makes the people lose confidence in government. The world has to help him step out. He must take his in bondage. Please, for God's sake, address this matter. It will help the more people. Or more people will be killed as a result. Now, what he had just said yesterday, because he doesn't know that he has people inside him who report him even. He said, watch, this week what's going to happen. That he's going to dramatize something again that will change the whole story. All right. He's, he's, you have seen uh, who pull, uh, um So, which means that the, some of the unknown government you are seeing in Imo State, a product of hope of them and their political tussle and struggle in Imo state that is the essence of this video although this video is not uh, today or yesterday uh, but i just wanted you to know that unknown government a product of political tussle in some state i don't know if you understand what i mean so i'll see you guys on the next one let me know what you think about the ultimatum given to the nigerian government to do something but in case you want to support this Biafra Nations League, please drop your comment down below and let me know how. I'll see you on the next update. Thank you.